Hey guys, how's y'all doing? How's you feeling? Of course, I am back and I hope you guys have been fantastic, you know. Happy December. Wow, I just got back in. Oh, like I said, Nita, we're yeah. December. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make <laughs> story. Mm-hmm. yeah, so happy blessed December. I hope you've started out well and I hope your December is going to be fantastic. As we head on to 2022. Come okay, do you remember to hit us up on Facebook at Switch TV Kenya, on Twitter, Switch TV Kenya, and Instagram at Switch TV KE. It's your girl, Kush Tracy, and I missed you. Mm, mm, mm. Hola, everybody, and happy December. Yes, it's already the first of December, and most people have actually now putting up their Christmas tree. Us is just being put yeah. around here. It's happening in studio as we <laughs> speak. But of course, today is a very special day because it's World AIDS Day, and since the first of December 1988, that's when the day was designated to basically uh, raise more awareness on HIV as a pandemic, and also. Of course, mourn those that passed on because of the pandemic. So, a moment of silence for everyone that passed on due to HIV and AIDS. Yes, good evening, good people. And it's Wednesday, isn't it? Happy hump day. I don't know why I'm already confused about the days of the week, but uh, it is what it is. Yes, yes. our hashtag today is um, World AIDS Day. And I just want to... Um, acknowledge how far science has brought us because before AIDS was a death sentence like there was no two ways about it but these days there are so many people who are living with it and you know let's fight the stigma because not everyone got it through a sexually transmitted disease okay the people who are born with it they didn't know they had it there are many stories around why people would have HIV so let's not have the stigma around it so yes World AIDS Day drop your comments on our social media platforms which TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter or you can text us on triple one triple four triple one for one shilling only i am joyce minor yeah yeah I, I think we should actually do the the moment of silence okay yeah let's just do it for everyone and of course if you have any relative that passed on due because of hiv because before it was a death sentence mm. and kuna ukweli there's there's so much stigma when it comes to hiv and people just assume oh you had sex oh my god you so you, you did all that yeah. but some people are born with it and you don't choose and sometimes even the wives or the husbands mm. so of course a moment of silence let's do it Yes, thank you yeah. so much. And of course, Kush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, um, I always say this. There's no sickness that is too great. There's no sickness that is too small. As long as, you know, you're not okay, your health is not okay, you definitely are facing something. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And at the end of the day, you don't need to treat someone different just because of what they have or what they carry or what they've been infected in. Because I remember even last year when COVID came, kuna, not last, is it last, last year, but one, when COVID came, some people are even yep. fighting people who had COVID just mm-hmm. because, you know, at you caught a virus and you don't even know where you caught it from and you might, you know, you just don't know what happens. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, you know, she said, um, HIV is something that we've learned to live with. Some people are born with it. Some, some people have just, you know, caught it not just through by a sex but mm-hmm. through other things when i get saying in a sharing of objects Needles. especially if you're in, yeah. into drugs and all of that so there are so many ways you can get something which you are hoping never to get or to catch and it's okay if you have it just treat other people kindly and remember it could be me today it could be you tomorrow so don't feel like you're too special and like umeha taile you know you're perfect that like anyone who's going through something or suffering from something mm. so i think that's the most important thing treat mm. others how you want them to treat you if yeah. it was you put yourself in other people's shoes yeah. yes and of course guys before we start off the show uh, let me just give you a little stint of what we will be talking about our guest today is someone who fights the stigma around um hiv and, and aids and she's doreen morash was born with it and i can't wait for you guys to catch this conversation but let's just start off the show with what we do best it's time for pop spot yes and i do have the first story and it is about my favorite person who is also my best friend she just doesn't know it yet <laughs> um, i'm talking about um rihanna she's officially like officially 
a national hero. Now, this comes after Barbados becomes a republic of its own. It's no longer under, okay, so what that means is, it's not that they didn't have independence, right? They've always had independence. But they were always under the queen. Kenya is one of those countries that are also under the queen, if I'm not wrong. We are a commonwealth country. So um, Barbados has broken its ties with the queen, and now it's a republic of its own. And even Prince um, Charles was there, you know, to... I don't know if you hand over a certificate or something <laughs> when you, like people like are like bye we don't want to be part of the commonwealth anymore but he was there and then on top of that now their prime minister who goes by the name uh, Mia Motelli um, who who by the way serves separately from the newly elected president Sandra Mason me I just like that I'm hearing women's names here it's just it's amazing right um yes she bestowed Rihanna with the title of um national hero because Rihanna has not only done so much for like herself she's also always given back to Barbados there was even a street that was named after her but now when they were getting their official independence out of the Commonwealth she was like that's not enough let's make her an official international I mean national hero of Barbados so congratulations cheers mm. do the freaking Barbados <laughs> with cheers to that yeah. but she's but always done a lot know, if yeah. you're able to go back and do something for your people especially mm -hmm. to make sure that you know as much as the whole world knows you mm -hmm. you're still giving back you know to where you come from yeah. and you're still you know trying to make the place as well you know known mm. so i think it's a good thing yeah, yeah. good job I hear, I hear canada wants to also cut ties with Commonwealth. Let us also. I think this is what Kenya. What are you waiting for? I don't know. Anyway, guys, let me take you to the next story.